Hello, I'm Yami Asai. I'm a student at the East Asia School of Theology, and I also serve on the pastoral team at New Horizon Church. I'm a Naga born in India. In the early years of my life, I grew up in a safe and comfortable Christian community and had ambition to make a career for myself in banking industry. But everything changed in 2007 when I moved out from my hometown and started to travel around different cities in India for work. I would see many children begging on the street as I traveled to work. This really shook my concept of Christianity as I began to realize that my faith was only enjoyed by my community in my church without a care for the broken and the lost still out there in the world. So in 2016, I resigned from my job in banking and started to involve myself in outreach ministries to the villages, cities, and slum in India. From my time spent sharing the gospel in India to serving the body of Christ in Singapore, I think one thing we overlook many times is the power of relationships. We tend to look at conferences, rallies, and evangelistic outreach events as the only way to reach out and share the gospel with our friends and family. But in actuality, there are many ways to reach out to the lost and broken around us. One such way is our relationship with others. I believe relationships are a powerful and personal vehicle for discipleship and evangelism. During my high school years, I had a best friend named Jenny. She did not like church for some reason. It was impossible to invite her to church for our events and even me asking her to come to, for a church camp at my birthday present could not get her to come. But more than just me trying to get her to come to church, we were friends, best friends. Throughout my time with her, I would continue to pray for her, love her, and speak life to her. It was only in 2020 that Jenny reached out to me during the peak of COVID, asking me to pray for her as she was struggling during the pandemic. This opened the door to conversations, learning more about Jesus together. And finally, after 19 years of our friendship, she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. My friends, sowing the seed might take one month or it might take 19 years, but I believe that we will reap the harvest eventually. Never underestimate the value and power of your relationship with people. As we live life with others, we simply need to love authentically, share our faith boldly, and spend time with them intentionally so that they can have a moment with Jesus.